How's it going, Dokkan Ninja Turtles? We are here with the information for the new units coming out for Dokkan Battle. Yes, that means global and also JP. We're on the global side on X to see all the information. I do see the Kui and I also see the Vegeta. So it's definitely going to be Namek Saga. This is going to be absolutely probably awesome. I haven't even seen what the units do right now. I haven't seen the uh, animations as well. I'm going to assume they're going to be awesome. And since this is Namek theme, there is a slew of cards that can get easy A's. And then there's also full power freezes, the physical one that can get a super easy A out of this one. So this uh, this could be a very, very good celebration right after the worldwide celebration. So I'm just going to say that right now because there's just so many units that could get easy A's. Like even if they don't easy A the AGO full power Frieza and also the intelligent Super Saiyan Goku, you still have the Krillin Gohan unit. And you also have the Vegeta Exchange uh, Goku unit that can get easy A's. And on top of that, you could still... Uh, give Ginyu an easy A and stuff like that. And again, if there is a part two LR in this one, I'm really hoping that if they do give a part two LR, man, if they give us LR Zarbon, dude, that would be absolutely insane since he did wreck Vegeta's ish <laughs> for real. So that would be insane right now. But listen, if you're new to the channel, you like what you see, sub up and turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos. So let's get into all of this. Matter of fact, first, let's see the... Um, I want, I want to see this. I want to see all of their actual animations. So I didn't see it. I just paused it right there. <laughs> Y'all, I can't tell you how happy I actually am that we do have a summonable Kui in the game. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is nice. This is gonna be good. Oh, and they're showing Zarbon. Dirty fireworks. Oh no. Oh no, it was that move. Okay, hold on. There it is. Nice, uh, nice. I really like that. Uh, I'm very much um, love Namek Saga. I, I really do love Namek Saga, and currently right now having Namek Saga getting some absolute love is going to be great. I just hope that this Vegeta is incredible. Oh yeah, never mind. He's going to be incredible. He's he's AGL unit. I just hope that they have a history for making AGL uh, units kind of kind of trash, to be quite honest, uh, especially extreme. Uh, they kind of hold back on us, so hopefully they did not, and this will be the turning point of showing us that they're not going to start holding back on units. Just the fact that Kui is uh, a spicy and featured unit is pretty freaking dope, to be quite honest. So, let's go ahead and take a look at all the information for these units. You guys can let me know in the comment section below if you're very excited for this, because I am very excited for this one. Like, hopefully they do some justice here. So, we already see the Namek Saga uh, that he's going to be uh, leading, uh, 3 key 130. The passive, I gotta read this uh, down here because it's so damn small and stuff like that. But uh, key plus three attack and defense, 150% high chance to evade enemies' attacks, including super attacks. If HP is 50% or less when receiving an attack, and, uh, okay, that sucks there. Plus an additional chance to evade enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 20%. Plus an additional attack and defense, 150% and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 20% when attacking. And if the uh, uh, enemy is in a target, so if the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status, great chance of launching an additional super attack. That's really nice. Evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and performs a crit hit within the turn if HP is 50% or less uh, at the start of turn. Once only foresees enemies' super attacks at the start of character's attacking turn. Uh, when there's another Namek Saga category uh, ally attacking in the same turn. Okay, that could be very, very, very good. That last part right there, forcing enemies attack, it could be very good. Uh, especially seeing as, like I said, full power freezes, easy A, uh, and also possibly super easy A, which I'm going to bet money that the super easy A would be what we would get before we probably get the easy A of, of the Frieza and also the Goku, just because 
I, I don't think they would do both of those and then give the sub e well not even the sub easy just the lrs easy eights as well too because that's like a what a hundred and close to like what 32 132 uh dragon songs or somewhere somewhere around there that that would be for all four of those units get easy ace and i don't see that whatsoever at all i personally see probably the uh the gold coin lrs getting easy ace out of this one and like i say if they're extremely generous and they do do uh both of the do confess goku and frieza easy ace and that would be boy oh boy that would be some some ish right there i'm not even gonna lie uh, greatly raises attack and defense one turn and causes uh, supreme damage to the enemy. I'm going to assume that's what that is. Yeah, and lowers attack and defense. Okay, so yeah, if he gets an additional super attack, then that other stuff on his passive pops off. So uh, he's looking kind of solid. I'm not going to lie to you. He's looking kind of solid. And I know a lot of people may not like Kui, but I really love seeing these um, like side characters actually get units and they be good in the game. I'm really hoping that we get an LR of freaking uh zarbon man i'm really hoping of that bro so let's see the vegeta because him uh and obviously uh the intelligence uh support unit they won't link up or anything like that because of the same name but you know it, it is what it is I, I wouldn't expect him to give us an intelligence one of them because that would just be weird uh for that to happen stats uh look pretty solid i forgot to look at the stats on him yeah for a spicy and featured unit i mean i guess he could probably have decent stats uh rainbow so i'm very curious to see what he's going to be doing but vegeta so he is planet saga and gifted warriors and inhumane deeds which inhumane deeds getting that big old buff there as well pretty nice uh the three key 170 across the board plus an additional hp attack and defense 30 percent for characters who belong in dragon ball seekers or pure saiyans okay uh not not too shabby right now like i said if uh if Saiyan Saga is the theme for the T for the tenth year anniversary, and the uh, Tech Vegeta gets an easy A and stuff like that, that that would be pretty solid. Uh, to be quite honest, even though he, I guess technically speaking, he wouldn't uh, link up. I guess, but the Namek, uh, but the Nappa and Vegeta and stuff like that. If there's support, that could mean Nappa and Vegeta getting some uh, some pretty nasty support there. That would be kind of dope. So let's see what this pass this long passive. Uh, is. Boy, I got to get closer to read all it. Lord, have mercy. That's a lot. Uh, <laughs> golly. So, uh, activates the interest animation uh, once only and key plus three and attacking defense 180% for the rest of the battle when facing only one enemy at the start of character's attack and turn. That's pretty damn solid. Okay, as long as there ain't two people, that's pretty damn solid. Attacking defense. Uh, 50%. Actually, it doesn't matter, even if it is, because you're facing one person at the beginning of it, and then it goes to a phase two, it still should be activated within that, because it, you already faced one person. So, oh, okay. Uh, I was going to skip over that, but I'm glad I actually put that in there, because I know somebody would have left a comment down below, being like, hey, they still would activate. So, attacking defense, 50%. Per key, per key spear obtained up to 500? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, if we get a new, if we did, if we get a new actual standalone grade eight Vegeta for uh, the 10th year anniversary, if it is indeed going to be Saiyan Saga, because they, they were showing Saiyan Saga stuff in that producer letter. But if it's not, it's whatever. But if it is, and we get a standalone of him, I, okay, um, Randomly change key spears of a certain type, uh, excluding AGL to rainbow key spears, reduce damage received by 30%, and chance to evade enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 18% with uh, and with an AGL key spear obtained or five or more key spears obtained. Wow. Okay. So you get damage reduction uh, and evade uh, 18% with an AGL key spear or five just key spears? That's. All right, we say what you want, but just so far, right there, just reading that alone, he's looking like a damn good TUR. Like, right off the bat, he's looking like a damn good TUR. Plus, an additional chance of eight enemies' attacks, including super attacks plus 30%, and additional damage reduction of 18% when attacking if HP is 50% or more. Oh, yeah, okay, so he's getting 60%. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Launch an additional super attack. If HP is 50% or less at the, at the end of the turn. What? 
Oh, excuse me. I read that wrong. Launch an additional super attack. That's that's just its own thing. I was reading that together for a second. That threw me off. Uh, yeah, and if HP is 50% or less uh, at the end of the turn, plus an additional defense 50% and high chance to perform a crit hit for the next uh, turn onward. Okay. After the character performs a super attack five or more times in battle, change all key spears to HL key spears at the start of a uh, character's next attacking turn once only. And for the character's attacking turn going forward, randomly change key spears of a certain type to a uh, AGL scoot it to AGL key spears. Dude, he's looking crazy. He's he's seriously looking crazy. Dirty fireworks uh, can be activated uh, after performing four or more super attacks in battle. So if you get that five with it too, then if you don't activate it right there, you wait till the fifth turn or whatever, uh, fifth super attack next coming in. Massively raises his attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy uh, attack plus 50% in battle. Are you, please tell me, you're, are you raising attack? Yeah, yes, he greatly raising a, attack and raising defense. Yep, greatly raises attack and raises defense and causes miss damage to the enemy. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This, this is looking crazy, and I think I was pretty much correct when I was saying this that we're after the worldwide celebration we're basically entering busted mode because they know now that after the uh and after the basically anniversary Tanabata and also the worldwide celebration especially on the global side of having all that in that gauntlet they know a lot of people are ransacked on dragon songs and probably looking to save for the 10th year anniversary so Anytime that necessarily happens when they know people are looking forward to something because, again, they've announced it in themselves that their whole roadmap going forward, what they're going to be doing. And also uh, just, again, uh, uh, us knowing that the 10th year is synced up. Like we we know for a fact going forward now that they're going to try to bleed us dry. And also, like I said, power creep, uh, all the TURs, all the easy A's, all the super easy A's, uh, sub easy A's. Uh, easy eight areas, whatever it is, free to play units like have to go up and up and up because, again, all the events are probably going to get harder and harder and harder. And seeing as the tenth year anniversary, I have this little theory uh, going on in my head that uh, we're we're probably going to be needing super easy A's for something, something massive going forward because. I mean, why wouldn't we? Like, they introduced that at the beginning of the year. We don't even have the type support uh, banners back yet. And also, I mean, I mean, come on. Like, every unit, we're, hit, we're seeing 100 million for units now. And, yeah, we're seeing a couple of them right now. We're like, oh, my God. But I have, that, I have a feeling that by the end of this year, there's probably going to be like seven or eight, if not more than 10 units in the game that can have that potential stat of over a hundred million in Dokkan battle and before the 10th year anniversary. And I have some, I have some crazy feelings that the 10th year anniversary is in terms of unit wise, obviously that's, this is, uh, that'd be another start of power creep. But in terms of just content wise, we have to see because we got our, we, we had everything high for content and it wasn't that re that high in the worldwide celebration. So bringing that part down a little bit, but Heroes, we don't know. We we don't know if this is going to be the last time they do heroes. So heroes has got to be absolutely stupid. And they are again, they're talking about the ninth, the anniversary, the worldwide celebration, and thank you celebration is uh, probably unaffected by is not not probably is unaffected by the basically one thousand coin pity system, and it's still probably going to be twenty five hundred with the uh, especially with all the other ones having the new summon where you're guaranteed the feature unit on the seventh summon. So I'm going to assume that they know this. Every unit is going to be busted uh, going forward, especially leading up to probably some big sort of event that's going to be that they're going to introduce there. And that's the reason why we need all these units to be absolutely dummy in terms of damage wise and reduction and damage reduction and stuff like that, because this is way too many units that we've been getting right now that have crazy amount of damage reduction crazy amount of damage reduction something diabolical is happening going forward and i'm telling you right now you might want to prepare for it i will say this that if you are planning on still skipping things it is what it is like some of these units will probably be back on a banner uh i would say um maybe in january 
And seeing as Vegeta and them are currently right now going to be for October, I'm going to assume by late December, uh, if we have another like Doka Fest banner or stuff like that, he might be back by the end. Um, so that's that's okay. And again, like all the spicy and future units that we get from every Doka Fest going forward, it's still going to be in everything. And same thing for the Carnival units, as long as this is unless as long as it's a rising Carnival and not like some kind of like Doka Fest Carnival, you know, with um, a Doka Fest and a Carnival like with a Part One, Part Two, then you, you know that's that's how that'll go. They won't be back. But if it's a rising Carnival and that's it. They'll be back, and those of you will probably be, be absolutely stupid still. So, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited for the Vegeta, but at this, and, and Kui, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, y'all giving us busted units after busted units, and I have a feeling that there's just gonna be more busted. Something's gonna happen. There, there's 100% something that they're cooking up in the lab, uh, and that's why we need it. So, I mean, skip at, at your leisure at do what you need to do but i think for most people right now we're probably looking at it like bro i gotta see the showcase <laughs> for these units that's good lord especially that vegeta oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah i'm, I'm excited for this let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this one have an awesome day slash nice stay safe and i'm out peace yeah!